How to set up a Node-RED status dashboard for Simocode Pro V Profinet. This short video does not show how to set up a Node-RED environment. Please visit the official Node-RED website for general information, setup files and how to get started with Node-RED on different platforms. Additional, you can find an application example for Node-RED dashboard with Simocode at the Siemens online support. At the Simocode parameterization, we have to activate the OPC UA server. Further a valid time at the Simocode by set time button or NTP server is required. For our dashboard and the OPC UA communication in Node-RED, we need to install following modules. We pick an OPC UA client node from the list and place it to overflow. At this node, we configure the Simocode Pro OPC UA server as the endpoint. For reading access, security policy and security mode can be kept as none. With this OPC UA client node, we want to read multiple tags from Simocode OPC UA server. Please remove the values for chunk count, message size and buffer sizes. With the function node, we define multiple tags which we want to read from the OPC UA server. For this, we assign a list of node IDs to the message payload. This gets defined by the namespace, by the node ID itself and the data type. The table of OPC UA tags with node IDs and data types can be found at the Simocode Pro manual for communication. In this sample I will use general fault, general warning, feedback current flowing, motor off, motor on right, test position, remote mode, cooling down period active and pre-warning overload to show at the dashboard. For the trigger event we use the inject node. For the multiple reading we have to use message topic read multiple. With the interval trigger we define the update cycle of the reading. To separate the received data for further processing, we use a switch node. Here we add the number of outputs we receive from the OPC UA client node. For the division of the data packet, we use the OPC UA node ID for comparison purpose. The message property to look for is message topic node ID. For the status indication at the dashboard, we will use the LED element. These get connected one by one to the switch outputs. For the first LED we have to define a dashboard tab and a dashboard group. For the LED we give a label name and the name of the LED node itself. Further we configure the color for the false and for the true state. This we do for every LED we show at our dashboard. On the right hand side you can get an overview for your configured dashboard. You can change the layout and the seam which will be used by the dashboard. By deploying 
you will get the dashboard active and you can jump to this website. Let's change the design a little bit. For this, I adjust the width of the group to 12, for example, and rearrange the LEDs in the tab. At the flow, you can see the status of the OPC UA client. To get the output value of a node visible, the debug node can be used. After deploying, you will get the result in the debug view of Node-RED. Last but not least, give your flow a useful name to be prepared for your second and third flow. With these we will go on in the next videos.